Hi everybody, it's Dudley from Gigabeam here and today I'm unboxing Ubiquiti's new Airfiber 60 radio. This is the one that has the longer range than the Gigabeam one and also includes an integrated 5 GHz backup. So as you can see it's a bit bigger box than Microtik's wireless wire dish but that's just the way that they packed it. The actual dish itself is a very similar size to the Microtik wireless wire. Uh, it's very similar design in the sense that it has uh, three mounting points uh, around the dish but it also has a rubber bung at the bottom. I assume this is just to improve uh, sort of water ingress uh, to the actual radio itself which is built into the end of the arm. So just unpacking this, uh, the rest of the unit now. We're actually going to be deploying this radio in about three days time so that will give us a chance to build it and see how it's kind of constructed and how well it's built. As you can see on the back of the dish, there's actually a mounting unit that's quite different to the wireless wire one. Uh, it looks like it's designed for both the U-bolt, which is included in the box, but also it will take the new precision mount that's been announced, but I don't think anyone's seen one in the flesh yet. So just opening up the box now that has the radio and the power supply and all the rest of it. Again, it's kind of more like the newer Ubiquiti gear comes very beautifully packaged. I think this is the sort of direction they're trying to go in to show they're really serious about quality products. That's the existing mount that uh, is not precision, but it does feel quite well built. We've also got the standard half hour amp um, power supply from Ubiquiti. And in the box, it comes with a European cable, but I'm sure your supplier will be also providing a UK plug to go with it. Just looking at the other parts, those are the two arms that go on the sort of top part of the dish, and then the actual radio itself, which is probably the bit you're most interested in. It looks a little bit like a, uh, a shower head. Uh, truth be told, it's quite an interesting design. It's very weighty, um, kind of has that sort of quality feel about the build. Uh, there's the head of it, as you can see, and down uh, one of the sides you have a set of lights for showing power, network, 60 gig and 5 gig link. Opening up the, ca the cover and you'll see a single RJ45 shielded port. There's no separate earth lug on this unit. So we're going to be putting that together in the next few days and testing it at 1.7 kilometers. We'll show you some screenshots of what the menu interface looks like. Okay, so here we have the Air Fiber 60 dashboard. Given this early days for the firmware, you can see how much time and effort Ubiquiti must have put into it. They really have nailed the interface. Uh, you can see things like the link uh, speeds, the RSSI, both on 60 gig and 5 gigahertz. Whereabouts on the dish, it's picking up the signal for alignment, but we'll come onto that in a bit more detail later. On the wireless settings, not a lot here. You can choose whether you're an access point or the station. The frequencies seem a bit limited, they go to 64800 and I'm sure that on other country codes you can go beyond that so that's something we ought to look at with uh, Ubiquiti on, on whether they can go to 66 gigahertz. The um, channel width is also set at 2 gigahertz, that seems to be a dynamic setting so you can't change that. 5 gigahertz you can choose 20, 40 or 80 megahertz channel widths and you can go through the entire sort of 5180 all the way up to 5840 megahertz. Um, the advanced menu doesn't do a great deal. On to the network settings, so you can set them of course to DHCP or static. Uh, these are not real IP addresses on our network by the way. Um, MTU, I've set that at 1600 on my real setup, it took that fine. Uh, I haven't tried beyond that but I'm assuming if you can go to 16 you can probably go all the way to 9000. Um, VLANs and STP are available as with all the other Ubiquiti products and you've got a little bit of um, control over the IPv6 setup as well if you're using that in your network. And then Finally, we go on to the system settings, and again, it's very typical sort of Ubiquiti. If you're used to the AC product set, you'll be used to this straight away. You've got some great tools here, so where Ubiquiti have probably really nailed it as over an antenna alignment. Uh, I'm still yet to see another manufacturer produce anything quite as simple to use as, as Ubiquiti set up, and that shows you whereabouts you are on your dish when you're lining up. Very handy gives you what you'd expect to see as your RSSI and just do that bit of fine tuning. All the other menus for tools are pretty much as you'd expect. When I did a speed test I got about 600 meg. So that's about it.